In his famous proclamation, Richard Oakes once said, it would be fitting and symbolic that ships from all over the world entering the Golden Gate would first see Indian land and thus be reminded of the true history of this nation. I'd like to say that it is fitting and symbolic that visitors from all over the world who come to Alcatraz Island learn more about the historic American Indian occupation and the movement for indigenous rights that continues to this day. It's really a dream come true. and. Uh... This is for everybody, and the millions of people that come through Alcatraz are now going to see this exhibit, and they're all going to be educated, and that's the goal, is, is education. So it starts with you. You are in a very unique position to look at the world and start over. And just as Richard and Joe jumped into the water and made electricity, that's what you're going to do academically. Today is the day that we celebrate and we remember the brave young men and women who came to this island 44 years ago and made a stand. And it was here on this tiny desolate island that a voice powerful and strong stated a prevailing message that resonated across the country. A voice that stated strongly, we are still here. When Richard jumped into the water, that was education. That was education because that is what, in my mind, education is all about. It's all about that next step. It's bringing your history with you, but it's taking it to the next step. And if we don't do that, then we will become invisible. So I'm planting a seed that uh, Alcatraz should be a place for uh, annual power. It's gonna be a lot of work. It has to come from the community. People ask me, well, when are you gonna do that? And they go, well, it's not for us to do. We'll be here to make it happen. It's for you to do. No matter what, all of you young students, you young adults, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. You can do it. Oh. And you gotta do it. You have to do it.